All right, coming up just really soon now is the Trilingual School of Alternative Building, where we show you how to lay the plumbing, the foundation, make aircrete, and not just make aircrete, aircrete is a building system, so we have to teach you about the fabrics and the finishes and how this all fits together to make a quality structure that's been engineered so that you know it's safe. We're going to show you that engineering on that. We're going to show you how to lay the floors. We're going to show you how to do water recycling. We're going to show you how to do worm composting flush toilets, as well as building our own solar power systems from scratch. And some people have said, can I really learn everything that I need to know in a 14-day class? And I would have to say you can, because the value in it is that you will have gained the experience of hands-on and mental experience with each step of building a house. Um, we're going to show you how to size uh, the air conditioning system for aircrete by doing heat load calculations and we're going to actually teach you how to install your own mini split air conditioning system. And having done all this, when you're actually building your own house, you'll have that reference experience and then at that point it's honestly just practice. Because even professionals screw up, but you know what the difference between a professional and everyone else is? A professional can cover his mistakes or he knocks things out and starts over and makes it right and only experience is going to give you perfection of skill you know they say it takes 10,000 hours to be a master of something but you don't have to be a master to build your own house in fact the imperfections that often go into a house give it a character that often makes the house very special and very unique and in my opinion much more beautiful than a stick box cookie cutter house out in the suburbs so I recommend attending a class, getting the skills, and then practicing, because that's really all that it takes. For you guys that are coming to the Trilingual School of Alternative Building, um, we're going to encourage you to go ahead and get your rooms now because of the amount of traffic out there and tourism. But the Trilingual Ranch Lodge, you can rent a room, you can get an RV spot with power and water, and you can get a campsite. There's also a pool on site for people that stay there, and there's a little restaurant, and they sell ice. So you can get your basic needs met there, and there's also a shower house that we'll be using for everyone, even if they stay on site, which you're more than welcome to stay on site for free. But just be uh, mindful that you need to bring everything that you need to make you comfortable. We will have a toilet. We will have water on site. But you need to bring everything else that you need to be comfortable. And also, because we have the summer coming in or ending over here and we have the fall coming in, that hot and cold air mixes out there. So sometimes the weather's a little unpredictable this time of year. And you should expect it to be a little too hot. And at night, it could even get down to freezing one or two nights. That's typically happened at least one night out of the previous workshops. So be sure you bring enough extra covers or a quality sleeping bag so that you can stay warm enough if it freezes. And also, if you're staying on site in a tent, I highly recommend you go get a little battery powered fan. Um, probably the cheapest one out there is the, the Ryobi power tools. Get you a, a battery or a, a couple of batteries and a, box, a little battery powered fan so that you can stay cool if we just happen to have an excessively hot day. Uh, dress in layers and you're going to be fine. So just be aware of those factors. Um, if you don't want to stay at the Trilingual Ranch Lodge or they're full up, uh, there's also the Longhorn uh, Inn. It's about 16 miles away. Uh, you can often get a room there. They also have RV spots and a pool there, I believe. Uh, and then there is some Airbnb in the area. But if you have any questions whatsoever about attending a workshop uh, or uh, if you're coming and you, wanna, you need to know something else, then click the link below in the description. You can go to the schedule your call section and at the bottom you can enter your questions in a form um, or you can text message or call the number on there. But as I'm now heading out to the Trilingual School of Alternative Building, please be mindful there's no phone service out there whatsoever. And so um, if you need to talk to people or answer emails and stuff, then you need to go to the Trilingual Lanch Lodge for uh, internet and get you a Google Voice over IP number so that you can make and receive phone calls over the internet from that location. 
Um, and I will be doing the same in the evenings up until the workshop. I will be going down each evening and using the internet. So if you call, you can leave a message uh, or leave a text or an email would be preferable uh, because sometimes the, uh, the uh, translate on the voicemail doesn't exactly translate what you said quite properly. So that's how you can get in contact with me if you need to and you're coming to the event. Uh, you will be able to get to me. Just don't expect an instant reply because it's only going to be in the evenings that I'm going to be there to do so. So I invite you, click the link below in the description and find out more about the Trilingual School of Alternative Building. And when you finish checking out, be sure and bookmark that page. It's got all the travel information you need to know on that page as well as the weather information uh, and further contact information. So I look forward to seeing you there. And remember, don't fail to build your own house because you can't do it perfectly or you're brand new to it. Just learn and adapt and just the attitude of you're going to do it and you're going to succeed, that's really all it takes. After you've gotten some hands-on experience, it'll just kind of start to flow, you know, and before long you'll be doing perfect. And like so many other recommendations, I recommend building a small or tiny house to begin with, not as a finished product, but as a starter. Because when you build something that you can complete, you won't be overwhelmed and you'll get things done. You'll learn from your mistakes and then you will know that you know what you're doing. And you can design the entire project so that you can add on in a modular fashion. You might build, for example, one module that's the master bedroom with a kitchenette and then you can live in that in a finished structure and then you add on the next module. Maybe it's the living room and then you add on a couple bedrooms and a kitchen, a guest room, a garage. But you expand and you start from a solid place of success having actually completed something because it can be overwhelming the number of things that go into a building project. And a large building project can be especially overwhelming. And if you haven't done a lot of physical work before, it can also be exhausting because, yes, it is work to build your own house. But I would rather put in a month or two or even six of hard physical work than to go to a job I don't like to have to pay a house note for 20 to 30 years. So I look forward to seeing you there at the Trilingual School of Alternative Building. Again, click the link below in the description to find out more, and you have a great day.